Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, where today guys, I'll be showing you how to enable two-factor authentication in Phantom Wallet. So guys, the first thing that you need to do is of course go to your YouTube channel, uh, to our YouTube channel, sorry, and see the videos about how you can actually download the application and how you can of course go and create your own wallet. Of course, if you're struggling with those, if you know how to do it, or if you have a wallet or something like that, you do not have to do that. Now guys, let's see what we actually have in front of us here. So here we you can receive buy and send tokens. So you can also manage your token list. On the top left corner, we have everything about your account. So you can manage your accounts. You can see your preferences, security and privacy. We can see active networks, address book. We can see connected apps, developer settings, help and support and about Phantom. Also, uh, here you can go and manage tokens, as I said. And uh, we here have your collectibles, which at the moment I don't have any. That's why this is sent for me. But be sure when you have some, they will appear, of course, here. And here you can go and swap tokens. So basically, you can go and click here to swap these tokens, etc., etc. Here we have your recent activity. So basically, all the things that you have done on the website will appear here. At the moment, this is empty for me. But be sure, guys, when you have some activities, they will, of course, appear right here. The last thing that we have is here where you can go and search or type a URL. So here you can see your sites, tokens, quests, and you can learn something more. But now guys, let's see how to enable two-factor authentication in Phantom Wallet. Well, it's pretty simple. You just need to go and follow these two steps. So basically, go to your domains page, click on claim unstoppable value next to domain, click claim into your wallet, select the Phantom Wallet address, check, understand, I understand, click confirm, and then verify the two-factor authentication. And as done, you can then track progress, which typically takes about 10 minutes. So guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on. And guys, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video video.